This shit is crazy. This music video came out in what? Oh, three? Like. This is the footage from the documentary that we just like this is so crazy. This is this is wild. I think to even to even have the confidence at a young age to to say, yeah, let me record myself because this needs to be documented, because I'm about to be that dude. I think if everybody lived life with that type of confidence, it would be so much success. The story about Kanye West and like his uh, Do The Wire song. He had did an accident and he broke his jaw. I didn't see the, uh, the latest episode yet. Okay. That's, well, no, they talked about it in the first episode. I mean, they talked about it more in the second. He's at the end. He came at the end. Oh. Probably, okay. Well, yeah. Well, this is, honestly, he, they, it's probably going to be talked about in the third, too. Because it's like, uh, honestly, it was a life-changing event in his life. And he said that's when, like, he started thinking differently. And he was like, I got to be this type of nigga to get what I want so I can be the best. But just through the wire song, um, I, I feel like I this saw it. It's probably one of my favorite Kanye West songs. It was definitely one of my favorite off the album. Um, like I remember like going back to what you were saying earlier about like listening to music like that came out back in the day, it kind of take you back to who you was and who, you know, at that time, life was generation. at that time. And like I remember being a kid, like going, you know, I was still living in Sunnyside, being a kid and my uncle, it was all in my grandma's house. My uncle used had the, uh, was it the, it was, a, was it a table or was it a um, CD? He had the little, okay, it was a little boom box, right? Mm -hmm. And he had like, you know, you can pop it and then you can, you can t put a CD in on top of it. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So he had the CD, he put that on in and it was a, uh, Kanye, okay. Kanye's album, and it was that, that song was on it, and I remember just sitting there like I really, I really did that. So you just sit there in front of the what you call it and just listen to it, like. And I remember just like listening to it, and then coming back when I got older and listening to it again, and, like this is so it's nostalgic. It is. But this is, you know, back then it's just so crazy because the life because I got older and matured, like, you know what I'm saying? But I still fucked with the music even though I was a kid and I didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. Exactly. <laughs> that, that, was, that was, you know, how good the yeah, art is. Yeah, like, like, for real. It transcends age. Um, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Iceberg Slim, aka Coach Don. I'm here with my guy. Trade Pro, man. And today, in honor of Kanye's documentary part two dropping, we're gonna be reacting to Through the Wire music video. Um, it's crazy, I haven't seen this video since I was a kid. I, f honest, I feel like I was in middle school, honestly, when I seen this. Um, so it's definitely been a long time, but I did watch the part two of the documentary. And before we get into this, I wanna say, so the the documentary is actually a part of the music video. Well, it actually is the music video. Like before we even knew these tapes existed, mm -hmm. the video came from the documentary oh, type shit. shit. Or like it was inspired by, if anything. So we about to see him in here with, with Pharrell, right? Mm -hmm. This nigga played Pharrell through the wire. Before it, it was it was even fully finished as well, by the way, like 80% finished. Oh, he said you my favorite rapper. <laughs> bro, bro played him two songs. And after he like told him the whole story with like why it's named through the wire and how he got in the car accident and everything in his life, how everything about to change for him. Pharrell heard two of his songs. And he said, I want you to know you're my favorite artist right now. Oh, you're one of my favorite artists right now. And I've only heard two of your songs. I was right, right then, right there, me being Kanye here and Pharrell say that about me. Oh, y'all would've known, I'm about, to, I'm about to be that dude. I'm about to make it. That's Pharrell, like that's probably one of the biggest yeah, compliments I can get from somebody in the industry at that point. Let's get into this good ass music, bro. 
I love how this whole directed too. Got into a car accident. No, my dad definitely had to tell. Like when I first heard it, as a kid, nobody told me that. For real, I, cause I, I didn't really, shit, I didn't really just know. I'm, I'm really just listening to this amazing ass sample in the back. Mhm. Mm it was the sample for me. And I'm like, wow, okay. And I'm, I'm hearing Kanye, you know, rap on it, and he, it sounds good. But I'm not thinking, oh, this means he's in the car. Oh, this happened. This. My dad was like, no, nah, he was a, he was in a car accident. So I mean, he was rapping the song with the wire. In. And I was like, damn, oh, for real, all that happened? Okay. So even at a young age, just still hearing the whole story, you're like, damn, okay, that's damn, that's pretty that's pretty cool. Like, this this that's like respect. This is a good ass song. That's a, that's a, that's a that's a lot for perseverance, bro. What that's a lot for. That's a lot to happen to a person. His mouth probably hurt as he repping that shit. Um, bro, you just got you just got you just got signed, and before your album your your debut album comes out, you get into a car accident, and the only thing that happens to you fatally is you break your jaw and you're a rapper. Yo, your arms cool, your legs cool, no way. I would have thought. Hey man, there's a will, there's a way. I, that's just a point of how inspiring this dude is. So I just keep going for what you want in life. I promise. This shit is wild. Don't Telling us son's own life support And just imagine how my girl feel On the plane scared as hell That I got look like Emmett Till She was with me before the deal She been trying to be mine mm -hmm. She felt it so she bent on what it died She said, yeah, bro, this is wild I've been trying to be signed Trying to be a millionaire How I used to like mine In the same hospital with Biggie Smalls died The doctor said I had blood clots But I ain't you making me Story on MTV And I ain't trying to make a band I swear this right this is like, bro, this shit is, this is like inspirational music, bro. This is the type of music I really like. This shit is crazy. This music video came out in what? Oh, three. Like, this is the footage from the documentary that we just like. This is so crazy. This is this is wild. I think to even. To even have the confidence at a young age to to say, yeah, let me record myself because this needs to be documented because I'm about to be that dude. I think if everybody lived life with that type of confidence, it would be so much success everywhere. Like that, this crazy, is man. no, like this, this is this is incredible. Yeah. Like when you when you go home tonight, watch part two. Everything you see in here is literally the fucking film. And it's crazy because like while they're directing it, they're recording like, okay, bet we're about to do the wire um, music video. This is how I want to do it. And he's like showing how, because he had like green screens mm -hmm. uh, put on the on the photo. The pictures. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, okay, damn. So we literally saw like his whole creative approach towards this. Like the chemistry him, Kanye and Cody had together was was dope. He was recording him the first time he ever heard the song. Yeah. Turn me up, yeah. Oh, 
somebody from the shadow was ill Got a deal on the hottest rap label of brand But it wasn't That's just crazy. about cooking birds It was more like spoken word Except he's really looking it down And he explained the story about how blacks came from glory And what we need to do in the game Good do bad night, right place, wrong mm. time In the blink of an eye And so life changed If you could feel how my face felt You would know how it felt Thank God I ain't too cool for the safe belt I swear to God, drop a two on a shoe I got a lawyer for the case to keep us in my safe, safe my That's crazy, you know Thank God I ain't too cool for the safe belt Click the ticket, my nigga. Um, so boom, as a kid, listening to College Dropout, I had no idea Scarface was supposed to have like a full or multiple verses on Jesus Walks. I didn't know that either. I, it's... He ended up not putting his face on it. It's, it's crazy, like looking and everything Kanye put out and then looking at the documentary and it's like you're getting answers to your past you didn't need to like question or have questions for because you just you know I, I didn't even know Scarface was about to do that many I had no clue we didn't even know that was an option I thought the song came out how you wanted it to come out um uh, it's a lot to unpack here man I look like Tom Cruise on Vanilla Sky. It was televised in an accident like Geico. The car was run up like Pepsi did Michael. I must got a angel, cause look how death missed his ass. I'm unbreakable, but you know they call me Mr. Glass. The back of my life, right the ghost of Christmas past. Toys and bus where I used to spend in Christmas cash. And I still won't grow up, I'm a grown ass kid. Swear I should be locked up for stupid that I did, but I'm a champion. So I turn tragedy to try and make Produce the fuck out of this. God. Mm. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is wild. This is wild as fuck. Shout out to Cody for directing. Shout out to Kanye for this good ass music, good production, good bars. Every like, I, it's not one nitpicky thing I dislike about any of that. No like, I like that's a ten out of ten for me. I, I, I we love, don't get shit like that. No more. Like that's art to me. Like everything, the story, the music, the production, the Steve, the direction. He's a genius. <laughs> I mean, hey, that's he's a genius, like Netflix that. title for that for a reason. No, he um, it. no you're right. He even screwed yeah. up. No. To make sure you will for the first time. No, um, I don't. Hey, the musical production. Is Kanye. What list of yours does Kanye make top five? What list of mine? Um, production off rare piece in my top five. Honestly, probably in my top three. Honestly, it's definitely in my top three. Um, rap piece top five. Of rap, of my list of rap, I feel like he's in my top ten. Um, 
But that's because I feel like I'm just biased over other people like Lil Wayne. Mm -hmm. um, so and, like, I'm biased with that type of rap style, Wayne, Kendrick. So that's just. You know what I respect the most about Kanye? He did all that while being himself, and that's so important. Like, that's, that's, I think that's the most important message to get out to the world is that you don't have to be, you don't have to be a certain way. You just gotta be, you just gotta really want it and be yourself. Definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like, Definitely. It's, it's just so motivational, you know what I'm saying? Being able to watch the documentary now and then going back and seeing this shit, you know what I'm saying? And then with us being the age we had, we, we was able, we was old enough to listen to all the music that was coming out. So it's not, it's like now he dropping uh, a documentary. So exactly. Now we now he dropping a documentary and we get to see like, <coughs> damn, it's, it's like he made his life a work of art and sold it. It's genius, man. It's genius. Um, I think I think he's definitely a trailblazer for all of that. Um, I think it makes me hate negativity so much because it's like I, I, I ain't even gonna cut you off. It's like because now that I think about it, it's like you know when you sometimes when you growing up, you know some kids can have dreams and shit like that. Oh, I want to be a rapper. I want to be, and people will shoot them down like. Yeah. What are the odds? But if you really peers, teachers, peers, other teachers, adults, peers, sometimes even parents, 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 yeah, yeah it's they, like they can. That's why it's, it's, it's so great to have look, a good support you, system. You put your nose up to some people that <coughs> want to do certain things, man. Shit, you never know. That can be the next Kanye. It's Kanye, next Jay Z. Jay -Z. You know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers are next billionaires. Barack Obama. That is exactly that is, bro. It's just, it's just so crazy, bro. Go chase your dreams, bro. Yo, don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just motivation. It's just motivation right there. For sure. I think, How can you hate that? I think Cardi B is also another person who gave that great demonstration of not having to conform to any certain perception or ideal. She for sure just been herself and made it work. Yeah, hasn't, hasn't, let, hasn't let herself stop her from getting any bag, she, getting in any from any crowd, and living her best life. She never like compromised the person who the person she was. You know At what I'm all. saying? So um, also fucking Tyler the Creator. I ain't gonna lie. Tyler, it's a it's a a crazy story I heard like maybe two months ago about how Tyler the Creator met Will I Am. Why they were like why Will I Am was like Will I Am. Like, you know, when the black eyed peas was at their peak. Mm -hmm. And you know, Tyler was still like you know, he was known, but it wasn't Tyler, what he, before I finished with Tyler. <coughs> You know, it was early Tyler. Mm -hmm. And the nigga with I am, it's like, hey, I ain't gonna lie. If you wanna get like to the top, if you're trying to be like somebody in the business, you gotta like, you know, move a certain way, do certain things. And Tyler was like, nah, I'm not doing that shit. I'm gonna be me the whole time. Um, I don't know what you're doing is honestly kind of corny. Um, he told him that? No, he told him that shit. What you're doing is corny. And uh, I can, I, he said, I guarantee you, I'm gonna be as successful as I wanna be being myself. And then when that last album dropped and he won all those awards, he went back to the, he mentioned that uh, conversation he had with Will I Am. And he was like, I told him, I told you, I, it's like, we just see Tyler living his best life right now. This nigga was just on a fucking bike for, what was that, uh, Gucci walkway, boat? It was somebody, somebody big, I think Louis Vuitton or something. Um, and it's like, wow, thinking back to the beginning of his career, another dude that just did what he wanted to do he did it his way, made it work. Um, hey, yeah. don't conform. Do do what you want. Get it how you want to get it. Be yourself. Those are my words for this this video. Um, I think Kanye is the leader of that expression for sure. So yeah, tens across the board. Um, put in the comment section down below. What you think about Kanye West? Cause I don't like it's, it's so many words that can come to mind. Um, but until then, like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on. Cause we're gonna pay and tribute to Kanye more often. No bullshit. Cause he deserves his flowers. I mean, it really is a true blessing that God bestowed on us. Cause he like the energy. That type of energy is like necessary. Inspired, I'll be able to live that life. Inspired to inspire the next one. It's like when Tupac said, it's like I may not be the person to
change the world, but I'm gonna use my voice to spark the brain of the person that is. Yeah. You know, it's, it's something like that. I feel, and yeah. I was like, you know what, that's just like, that's what it's all about. It's gospel. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's all about. Need four things like, like that. that. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? You know. Definitely so. But getting to us next time with the next Kanye video, I'm telling you right now, it's gonna be Jesus Walks, because I found out some crazy information about that the other day. Mm. You definitely wanna be there. Till next time, peace. We just been. You know, I was just venting, man. You know.